So I'll call you guys up. It's not in any particular order. It's kind of based off of the um, letters. I'll try to keep it short, and we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to mention um, brief things about each player. So first, Ethan Anstead. Um, Ethan was our point guard. He you know, handles the ball really, really well. Uh, never doubt my mind, whenever he had the ball, he was able to uh, take care of it. I was never worried, you know, looking back to see, you know, who got put in or whatnot. He always had control of the game the entire time. Super smart guy, uh, great decision maker, great defender, and uh, as you've seen throughout the, towards the end of the season, he had the opportunity to play varsity basketball. And Coach, I know we'll talk more about that in the future, but um, very, very, very um, solid basketball player for us. Uh, next, Jordan Young, he was the center. Um, Jordan has great athleticism, great strength. Unfortunately, he was kind of bothered by injury for uh, most of the season, so that kind of uh, hurt us a little bit as, as a team, but very, very solid down low. Um, we're able to control the paint and do a lot of things defensively and offensively. Jordan Young. Uh, next, we have Adam Ward, AJ Ward. He's our forward and center. Uh, this guy, he can do it all. He's very versatile, um, great understanding for the game of basketball. We did a lot of things where hey, he might have the opportunity one game to play the four, play the five, um, and have the opportunity to use his quickness to beat somebody. He might have the opportunity to play the two or the three and use his size and strength to beat somebody. And so um, he had a lot of great matchup opportunities and matchup advantages that he took care of, which was really nice for us. Unfortunately for him as well, he was bothered by a couple of energies at the beginning of the season and the end of the season. So I kind of might not have gotten his full rhythm that he could have been into, but um, he was a great piece for us. Adam Ward. <laughs> uh, next guy, uh, Dominic Polsano, and uh, he was our center. Um, fortunately, or unfortunately, I guess for me, whoever that crazy freshman coach was last year, didn't keep this guy as a freshman, and uh, now decided to bring him back as a 10th grader. And it just goes to show the type of person that he is, um, working hard, putting forth the effort, had the opportunity to have him on the team this year. Great attitude, <coughs> very, very, very physical, strong kid, um, very athletic. Any rebound, um, offensive, defensive, he was always crashing the glass um, and really helping us out tremendously in that aspect. So Dominic Polsano. <laughs> Uh, next one, Adam Osterman. Uh, he played guard forward for us. Um, this guy, you want to talk about a program guy, it's this guy right here. I mean, he would do anything he possibly could for the program. Um, summer, in season, whatever you want to call the off season for basketball, he, he was everywhere. Um, basketball was always in his hands. Uh, very passionate about the game. He did a lot of things for us. He the ball up, does it well, plays defense. Um, great aspect, great piece for our team. Adam Osterman. Uh, next, we have Jason Araki. Um, he played guard for us, mixed in point guard occasional. Um, this guy's a good example of kind of how you handle adversity, kind of how you push forward to make yourself better as an individual. Uh, him and I had a nice talk couple last year towards the end of the, excuse me, last year during tryouts. Um, unfortunately, again, we did not make the team as a freshman. And guess what? That didn't stop him one bit. He did everything he possibly could. He found out that I was coming back to be the JV coach. And first day of summer basketball, hey coach, I'm going to play summer league with you. Okay, great. He was in every open gym, every offseason workout, anything that could possibly be in to improve his game to make himself better. And uh, he's got a really bright future because he's very athletic. Uh, anytime he wants, he can get to the rim, get to the hole, and he's got very, very, very solid defense. So, Jason Naraki. Uh, next, we have Logan Morris. He can play the forward and center for us. Um, the term that always comes about um, with Logan is the idea of yes coach. Anything that I needed, and anything that any other coach needed, um, he would be there. Um, he, he wouldn't have to ask twice. He would sometimes even go do it himself. He was like another coach on the court. Um, so it's always good to know that that aspect was taken care of on the court. So he's not going to be playing with them all the time as well. So um, very, very versatile. Can play multiple positions again, just like uh, AJ was. Um, we scored inside, can shoot the ball on the perimeter. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in the future. Logan Mars. Uh, and then another one of the uh, bunch, Aiden Kuzu uh, He was a guard forward as well for us. Um, again, same thing I can tell you with uh, Jason. 
he improved his game tremendously from freshman year to this, this year, and you can really, really see in his game. And to be honest, unfortunately, um, you can take it negative if you want, but he might not have played as much many minutes as he wants to, maybe in the beginning of the season, maybe the middle of the season. He kind of worked his way in there, and uh, he was almost starting each game and playing a lot of minutes down the stretch because of the way that he worked, his athleticism, uh, the way he competed. Um, these, all these guys compete on, on a daily basis, and it was huge. And, you know, just kind of his attitude going about, there was, trust me, there was nobody in practice, no one in the game that was going to score on him. Because he had that mindset every single time that he was going to play defense, lockdown, and do what he needed to do. So, Aiden, appreciate that. Uh, next one, Anthony Hall. He's a point guard. Um, best thing about this guy, he was the true epitome of understanding the idea that size doesn't matter. You can look at this guy, obviously, and say what you want, but he has the most amount of basketball skill set and fundamental. Um, might be out of all three levels. Um, he could handle the ball, he can shoot it. Um, very, very, very textbook in the game of basketball. And again, he works at that. That's what he tries to do, focus on every single day. And, um, he can always take care of basketball. I can always count on that, make the right play, make the extra pass, um, play defense if you need to, but very, very, very good contributor for us, Anthony Hall. <laughs> Blake Bustle, I was um, joke about him with that. Uh, <laughs> so Blake played guard forward. Um, he was another guy. He could play anywhere on the court. If I needed to plug someone in here, 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 Blake would be that guy. He knew every position. He knew the two, the three, the four, the five. Um, sometimes the one if I needed to. But he was everywhere. Um, he was kind of like a right hand man. If, like I said, if I needed to, if someone didn't know a play, Blake would be that guy. If someone wanted to get in, you know, if I needed an extra guy in a certain spot, Blake would be that guy. He could shoot it very, very well. He works on it every day in practice. Um, you know, just another guy that goes show you like a lot. A lot of these guys on this team, they put forth the ex ef extra effort. We would get done practice some days. I said, hey Blake, I'm gonna stay around for a little bit in the office. Hey Blake, I'm gonna go to the varsity practice. Whatever it may be. He was one of the few guys that would grab a ball and shoot for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Nobody else in the gym, nobody else told me I had to, but why did he work on his game? And that's what a lot of these guys did, so appreciate that, Blake. <laughs> uh, next one, Chris Belt, another, another very versatile guard for us, played point guard, played the off guard, you know, he could do a lot of things for us. Um, he was kind of a guy that we could put a lot of spots anytime we needed the buck, anytime we needed a big play. Uh, he was a spark for us, not only offensively but defensively. We would press, we would do things down late, um, a couple games, and he would be the guy to make the big play. Uh, he could shoot the ball very, very well. Again, continues to work on that on a daily basis. Handles it well, um, and I'll tell you, he's very, very, very aggressive defensively and offensively. So, great attribute to have. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I know we'll talk a little bit later about this, um, but we have uh, another one of our young fine gentlemen, Jeff Sesta. Uh, let's bring him up as well. Um, I said this a little about a couple of these players already, but if you want to talk about a true tar, and I don't mean this in the sense of a basketball program or anything like that, but um, as a true tar athlete, it's this guy right here. He puts in all the time that he can to be there every single day in practice, every game, every opportunity that he has. He's always coming to his class <coughs> about, I don't know, maybe six, seven, a couple times where he knew if he wasn't going to be able to do there, he found someone right on the spot to get it taken care of. So I didn't have to worry about that and prepare for the game. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, another thing I want to thank the parents. Uh, fortunately, for most of these guys, um, I was their coach last year as a freshman. So it's kind of on like a two year transitioning program right now. and. Um, I can't thank the parents enough for everything that they've done, all their support, um, all their dedication, all their help, driving these kids to and from practice every day. Um, anything that I need, they're always there um, to remind me, help me with all that good stuff, so I appreciate that. And then uh, the team, the players themselves, uh, like I said, I had a fortune to coach them for the last two years, and um, it's a great group of young men, a great group of guys that work hard on, on, you know, on a daily basis. Horses in my car got me going fast. I just want to do the dash, put my pedal to the gas. Going so fast, hope I don't crash. One false move that could be my last. All these horses in my car got me going fast.